Hello everybody, so today I'm doing a rant, something that I haven't done in some time, but today I'm doing it on Knock Knock, the new film directed by Eli Roth and uh, written by Guillermo um, Amido, um, Nicholas Lopez and Eli Roth, the, uh, Nicholas Lopez and Eli Roth have worked on stuff like Aftershock, um, that was what um, Nicholas Lopez directed, and then Eli Roth also acted in that, um, and they also wrote The Green Inferno together. Now, Eli Roth is a director that I have liked for for a very long time, and he's someone that I've always looked out for in horror stuff that I've always wanted to see. It's stuff like I enjoy Cam Fever, it is a silly film, but it's a bit of fun as well, and then that got changed into a massive franchise. Uh, Cam Fever is even getting a remake this year, and Eli Roth is acting in that. And he's also a producer on that, um, so I know he'd be still someone that has a big part of it. And maybe they can do something more with that because he like like Cam Fever is a very stupid film. The things it does has the whole pancake scene, and then I also looked at him for, like when he did the Hostel films. Those breathed a bit of fresh air into the torch porn genre. They weren't amazing, but I still had fun with them. They were still good. They were disgusting. Like the first one was disgusting. The second one had its moments. It wasn't as great as the other stuff, but it still had its moments. But over recent years, Eli Roth has sort of not really done things that I have loved. Hemlock Grove, wasn't a fan of that. Um, the Green Inferno, I saw it at Fright Fest, wasn't a fan of that. It had its moments with this gore and um, had some cool practical effects. Now I know he was heavily influenced by Cannibal Holocaust, and you can tell from watching that, but it wasn't as great as it could have been. And I know it gets a release in the UK later this year. I think it's straight to DVD in the UK, but then it gets a release in America in September. It's had some big distribution things and yeah that's getting released soon i think it's a cannibal film that does work but it's not as great as it could have been now knock knock is the newest film from eli roth a home invasion movie with kiana reeves um also lorenza Izzo, who was also in the green inferno um and then anna de Amath and uh, aaron burns who was also in the green inferno and then we have Ignacia um, Alamand. Um, I may have said that name wrong, but she is the wife in this. <sighs> knock Knock is an absolutely atrocious film, in my opinion. This doesn't feel like it's from Eli Roth. When this opens up, it does the same font that The Green Inferno had, and it's this font that makes it look like a very low budget movie. And yes, I think this film was probably quite low budget with the things that it had. Um, but this film could have been so much better. And this film has its potential. You can tell that there was something more that this film could have done. Keanu Reeves, I feel so sorry for this guy being in this. Because you can tell that he was putting so much effort into his character. Trying to give this character so much more depth. And just doing the best he could with his acting. But it's in a... It's a badly written script that lets it down completely right from the beginning of the film. The writing of these two girls coming into, into this house and trying to sort of manipulate Keanu Reeves, trying to make him have sex with them, it's just, it's a complete, feels like a complete opening to a porno, like a setup to a porno with all the things that are said and done. It feels like, oh yeah, this is the setup and then they're going to go and like have sex. It's just, it's a horrible setup with this badly written script that is like a porno written script, like I said. And then it, it has this slasher thing to it, or like this torture thing to Keanu Reeves' character when the girls are trying to manipulate him and things. And you'd read the whole story, it's like Femme Fatale was trying to get the revenge on her, on her father and stuff, and it's like, there's no true thing to why they are doing what they are doing. They say all these things that they've gone around and done it to other men, but there's no true purpose to what they are doing. They're just, it seems like they're just doing it for the fun of it. Like That's the only thing that you get from it. You don't feel like they're doing it to get at anyone properly or prove anything to someone. They're just doing it to be horrible and deceitful and stuff. And like they do this as his character and Keanu Reeves thinks he's all okay and everything. And then they're just trying to fuck with him completely even more. There's so many bad lines to this film. And... This is a film that you laugh at lines because of them being so bad. They, like, the lines that are said seriously, be like, "This is just like a scene that makes you laugh so much." And there is an ending to this film where something happens with a Facebook video, and I don't know how Keanu Reeves just just sat there 
and just didn't laugh at what he was doing. Like, the scene is so, so ridiculous and such a ridiculous end of the film. The final line of the film is a ridiculous final line to the film. The whole film is just ridiculous. It's an atrocious home invasion, no originality to it. It's stuff that we've seen before with stuff like funny games, two people going into a house and fucking with a family. And this is just two girls going into a house and fucking with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is the best thing about this film. He tries so, so much. And you can tell that he's trying to put in all the effort. But this is just an atrociously, atrociously badly written piece of crap. And I wanted to walk out. This is the first time in a very long time that I've wanted to walk out. But I don't walk out of films like... I, I think... I just, the only time I walked out of the film is when I was at Fright Fest, and it was a film that was having all these racist and homophobic things with it, and I was just like, this is enough, I cannot deal with this anymore, and I wasn't enjoying it, so I just walked out. But with something that's got, like, Keanu Reeves in it, and directed by Hilo Roth, I wanted to sit down and just be like, look, maybe this is going to get more interesting, and maybe I'm going to start to enjoy it more. There's one moment where you're like, okay, shit's going to hit the fan, and something good is going to happen here, but it doesn't, and it's, it's just a shame because I thought Yellow Roth was gonna, gonna start doing good again, but Green Inferno and Knock Knock have proven that wrong to me. But I'm hoping with this mega loading shark movie that Yellow Roth is doing next, hopefully it returns to form and does something good. Knock Knock gets a one out of five from me. It's just atrocious, movie, badly written, and doesn't reach the potential that it could have. So if you've seen that, not say in the comments down below, I believe we got it before America got it, which confuses me because America always gets stuff before us, but it seems like the UK is the only place at the moment that's got it before any place. So yeah, if you've seen Knock Knock, say in the comments down below. Um, or if you like Eli Roth, what's your favourite thing that Eli Roth has done for me? It's Cam Fever or Hostel. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping Eli Roth is going to get better because I think he's a nice guy and he seems like a really cool guy with everything that he does. But this just wasn't the movie that I was hoping him from that I was gonna get from him, and I'm quite let down. And let's hope he returns to his form very, very soon. So thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.